Last month, we focused on color in Colorful February. I shared videos on using color in dreary environments and videos about getting correct color in mixed lighting situations. For Valentine's Day, I did a pinup themed shoot that used vivid red throughout the images. I also shared lots of colorful landscapes from all around the American Southwest. But that was last month. This month, we're moving on. In fact, we're swinging in the opposite direction. <laughs> this month will be Monochrome March. Now, Monochrome March may sound familiar to those of you that have been watching my channel for a while. We did the same theme a couple of marches ago. I enjoyed it so much, and I think you did too, so we're doing it again. I will be fitting all of my new content into the idea of monochrome, and I hope you participate too. I have a few things planned already. Some photos, some videos. One of the things that I am going to focus on is using monochrome when I would normally have used color. If my first thought is to take a brilliant color image of a beautiful sunset, I'm gonna do the opposite, black and white sunset. I'll be thinking about all the shades of gray and the lines and shapes that emerge, things that I may have otherwise overlooked when struck by a vibrantly colorful view. In fact, I've already started. I went to the Desert Botanical Gardens in Phoenix, Arizona yesterday. It was a beautiful spring day with bright blue skies that contrasted with all of the desert plant life that is showcased there. But what did I do? I shrugged told all the colors that I'd come back and photograph the next month, and I switched my camera over to shoot in black and white. What I ended up seeing was all of the textures and the patterns that the plants make, how the light and the shadow play on each other on a bright day. So, are you with me? I hope so. And I'd love for you to share your monochrome images with the rest of us. Tag them as Mono March on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I know a lot of you like to shoot in monochrome often, so I'm curious to see what you come up with if you do what I'm doing and maybe think about using monochrome when you would normally use color. I'll be back later this week with more monochrome madness, but you can see what I'm up to on a daily basis on Facebook and on Instagram. Plus you can check out some of the videos that I made two years ago when we did this theme before. Up above, you'll see a link to a video where I talk about setting your camera to shoot in black and white. After you watch that video, you can link to another video where I discuss converting color images to black and white in post-processing. You can also find links to both of those videos in the description below. And that makes me wonder, what is your favorite way to shoot monochrome images? Do you like to shoot them in black and white straight out of the camera, or do you prefer to shoot them in color and then convert them in post-processing? Let me know in the comments below.